Now let's talk about a little Windows Server history. Now to do this, we're going to go all the way back to July 1992. Now some of you are wondering, why are we going back to July 1992 in a course about Windows Server 2012? Well, you're going to get questions on the exam about technologies. And when you understand the foundation of those technologies or why some things are being deprecated and it's such a big deal, this will help you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a two-part video, by the way, because I'm going to do part one here, and we'll run out of time, I'm sure, the way I run my mouth, and we'll end up doing part two. But I want to make sure you get this stuff. I want to make sure you see a timeline here. Way back in July 1992, Microsoft released a product called Windows NT 3.1. Now, it was focused on security and hardware abstraction. That was big. And it created problems for driver developers. But keep in mind, the original PC was built absolutely with no security consideration. Hard to believe now, but that's the way the world was then. And so as the local area network grew, we started to see security problems. And so NT focused on this with the actual architecture of the operating system. And it really started to create some problems. Now, the explosion around this time of the local area network fueled the growth and acceptance of the NT line. And while it was a problem for driver developers, it appealed to administrators because there was increased security. Now, around about 1994, Windows released NT 3.5, another server product. It improved on the architecture. There was better administrative functionality and tools, and people continued to warm to Microsoft server offerings. In May 1995, Windows Server NT 3.51 was released. This got a lot more attention, even more architectural improvements, much more stable. And then in July 1996, Windows NT 4.0 was released. Now, this is where it began to get serious because up to this point, the local area network server market was owned by a company named Novell. They had an absolutely excellent product. Everybody loved them. But then Microsoft just kept getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And Microsoft had their marketing machine behind it. In the NT40 release, Windows Explorer appeared. It replaced the old program manager. And Windows Explorer was also introduced in Windows 95, right before NT40 came out. Now, in 1996, in July, uh, NT40 solidified Microsoft as the standard in the local area network server market. And so what happened, people began to migrate away from Novell because a perception grew out there that everybody else was going to Microsoft, and we better too. Now, this is just kind of a little thing here to make you smile. Notice the requirements for a server, for an NT4 server, in July 1996 was an Intel 386 or 486 processor running at 25 megahertz, not gigahertz, megahertz. You also needed a minimum of 16 megabytes of memory, which was quite pricey back then. Now in February 2000, Windows Server 2000 was released and this was big. It introduced Active Directory. It really beefed up the inclusion of industry standards in Microsoft's server products, things like DNS, LDAP, Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, Kerberos for security, and things really started to change. Now, with Windows Server 2000, Microsoft also released for the first time a dedicated client version for the server. Now, we think of this as automatic nowadays, right? You had XP, you know, you had Vista and Windows 8, Windows 7 and all that. And those were kind of dedicated to certain server products as the client. This was the first time in February 2000 that this happened. And so we had Windows 2000 Professional. Now this was not intended for home use. All right. So this was, again, the first client server dedicated system for business from Microsoft. And notice the year on that. 2000, that was roughly 12, 13 years ago. A lot has happened since then. I'm going to stop the video here. This will be the end of part one. Join me in part two, and we'll talk about this evolution from this point forward.